Hello, welcome everyone. This is Jordan Berry, Instructional Designer at Hack, and this video is designed to give you an overview of setting up your instructor contact widget on your D2L homepage. So creating customized widgets in D2L is a great way to provide students with important course information and resources. Unlike the news tool, widgets will permanently remain in the same spot on your homepage, making it the best tool to use if you want to display your contact information, Zoom links, publisher textbook access, or any other important resource that you want to share with your students. So when you log into your D2L course shell, you'll be taken directly to your course homepage. This is where your new widget will be displayed. As you can see, we already have a few widgets that populate your homepage by default. In the main area here, we have the news tool and the content browser. And on the right hand side, we have a calendar widget, updates, and a couple other widgets set up by default. We want to add an instructor contact widget to the right here. So to start, we're going to click on edit course in the nav bar. Now the first thing we'll do is click on widgets under the site setup category we'll see that we have an area here where our custom widgets are going to appear and another one where system widgets will appear. We're going to start by clicking Create Widget. Now we're in the Properties tab of our custom widget and we're going to give it a name. Let's call this Instructor Contact. Next, we're going to click the Content tab up here. Now we're brought to an area where we can input the information or content that we want to be displayed within our widget. I want to display a picture of myself so that I can appear more real to my students. So let's start there. I'm going to click on this camera button here to add an image to my widget. Pop-up appears and I'll be prompted to find an image that I want to share. I have a picture of myself on my computer so I'll click here. And then I'll click upload to find it. Here it is. You can double click on it or click open once it's selected. And now I'll click add. Since this picture is a picture of me, I'm going to type my name in the alternative text box here for the sake of those students with visual impairments that use screen readers. Now click OK. And there it shows up. We can resize the image if we want by clicking it to select it and then clicking and holding the small white square in the corner here and dragging it to the size I want. Nice. Now I'll add my contact information below it. I'll click in the text area beside my picture and press enter or return so it brings me down to the next line and I'll start typing. So I'll include my name here, my office hours, and the Zoom link below. Alright, great. Now I can click this button up here to preview what I've made to see how it'll appear. It looks great. Now I'm going to click save and close. Now the widget's all done, but we have to display it on our home page. To do that, we'll click the little home page button here. Now we're taken to the home page area and we'll see that there's a number of home pages available to us. More than likely, you're using the Hack Course Home default home page. That's great, but we can't edit this default home page or add widgets to it, so we'll need to create a copy of it by clicking the drop down arrow and clicking Copy. Now a copy of that home page appears and we'll notice that the title appears as a blue link. So we'll click on that and go into it so we can edit it. So first we'll give this home page a new name. Let's say Barry Homepage. Wonderful. Now we'll scroll down and we'll see we have a widget area here. The widget area is a reflection of how the widgets on our homepage appear. So if you'll remember, in this main area here, we have the news widget on top and our other widgets over here on the right-hand column. So we want to add our widget to the right-hand column here. So we're going to add our custom widget by clicking Add Widgets. And a pop-up will appear, and we'll see a long list of widgets that are available to us. We're going to click Custom Widgets here to help us find ours more easily. And there it appears. I'm going to select it by clicking this checkbox and then clicking Add. Now it'll show up at the bottom here, but I want to move it to the top so that students can easily see it when they enter my class. So I'll hover my mouse over the widget and we'll see my cursor changes and now I can click and hold and drag it. I'll stop when I see this line appear, letting me know where the widget's going to be placed and I'll release it to put it in the spot I want. Great. Now I'm going to hit save and close. And there's one more step before this widget will appear on the home page. We need to make this home page that we created our active home page. And we'll do that by clicking the drop down here. We'll select it from the list. 
Now we'll hit apply. Now let's go see if it worked. I'll click course home to go back to the home page and there it is. And that's how you create a custom widget in D2L and put it on your customized home page. If you run into any problems along the way, feel free to reach out to the CDI team for help. All the best.